Charles Bridge, a place that every Prague guide loves because of its history and hates because of how little time they have to talk about it on their tours and how difficult it is to cross it in the high season. But today is the day we finally will tell you everything we do not have time to mention about this magnificent bridge. Let's go! Charles Bridge had two predecessors, a wooden bridge in the 10th century and a stone bridge in the 12th century called Judith Bridge, named after the Czech Queen. It was standing slightly more on the northern side from today's bridge, and it was connected to the Order of the Knights of the Red Cross and the Red Star. Both bridges have been destroyed by floods, but the Judith Bridge partially has survived till our days. You can see its small tower on the left side of the river and parts of its arches in the Museum of Charles Bridge here. Charles Bridge was built by the great Czech King and Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV. According to a legend, he laid the foundation stone exactly at 5 hours 31 minutes, 9 of July of 1357. <laughs> Written down, it creates a palindrome. If you read it from left to right, right to left, exactly the same. Many people believe that he used these numbers according to the numerological horoscope for the bridge to stand forever. He was indeed a mysterious man. But even more mysterious is the fact that 14th century Prague had no clocks with minutes. <laughs> I guess they winged it. There is another legend connected to the Charles Bridge. Apparently, one of the ingredients used in the mortar to build the Charles Bridge were raw eggs. Rumor has it that all villages in Bohemia had to bring their eggs for the construction, but the town of Velvary was afraid that the eggs would break on the way. So they boiled them. <laughs> the entire people in the kingdom were laughing at them for being so careful. At the beginning of the 15th centuries, when finally the bridge was completed, Charles IV finally fulfilled his dream of having the perfect bridge. And it has been standing here ever since, but not everything was running smoothly. Floods have always been a problem in Prague, as the river Vltava, known in Celtic as the Wild River, would always flood. And here are the dates when the power of the water heavily damaged the Charles Bridge. 1432, 1784 and 1890. There's even a mascaron on the, on the bridge that when covered underwater, it would signalize the Pragers that the big flood is approaching. We call him Bradach. Charles Bridge is famous around the world for its unique look. It has a gallery of 31 beautiful statues. The oldest one was a simple medieval cross. And the oldest statue of the Charles Bridge now is the famous statue of John of Nepomuk, the patron saint of the Czechs. People come here and they love to touch it. If you want to learn why they like to touch it, click here. Fun fact. In 1588, a bear from the Order of the Knights of the Red Cross and Red Star escaped and took a stroll across the bridge. It went exactly how you think it did. Everyone was scared as f In 1621, the Charles Bridge became a place of tears when the heads of the rebels of the anti-Habsburg uprising were put on the tower of the Charles Bridge. 27 men were executed after they fought against the Austrian army and some of their heads were displayed here for 10 years. And no, it wasn't like the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> their heads were actually put inside of baskets. Another basket that was used in the 17th century was much bigger and it was for dishonest bakers. Yeah, they would be thrown in the basket and dipped into the river as a punishment. Imagine doing that during the winter. In 1648, Prague students and teachers from a nearby Jesuit college heroically fought the Swedish army that was sieging Prague during the Thirty Years' War on the Charles Bridge. Praggers had successfully defended the old town and the new town, and they received a statue and a new sign with a victorious hand in the wall's gate. You can see it on the tower of the bridge. The sign also talks bad about the Swedish people. 
Another fight that happened on the Charles Bridge was against the Prussian army in 1744. The Czechs were even considering destroying the bridge. Luckily, that didn't happen. 1870, it's a very important date for Charles Bridge because that's when the name was invented. Before that, it was referred to as the bridge, the Prague Bridge or the Stone Bridge. But in 1870, especially in the 19th century, was the peak of a movement called the Czech National Revival. And that's when Czech names started to be used. In 1908, trans were finally removed from the Charles Bridge. That's right, trans were actually on the bridge. Wait till you hear that there were even cars here up until 1965. Three years before that, the bridge was actually proclaimed as a national heritage. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on our next adventure. Bye.